Hey everybody, it's May 18th, 2022, and it's time to get out and wander again. Last year we went to a small island on Lake Erie called South Bass. This year we're going to go to one called Kelly's Island. It's got some interesting glacier grooves there. We'll be staying at a state park. Taking the bikes, it's a little bit of rainy weather going on right now. Hope we can get out and bike around the island. But uh, should have a few good days. So let's take you there. Good morning. So yesterday, it was a gray day, rain. Rained when we got here, rained most of the night. But today's turning out to be a beautiful day. Got the sun out, a little bit of a breeze. We are um, probably gonna head next to the, the glacier grooves. They're just around the corner here from the state park. But this island is more suited for bicycles and golf carts. Well, both if you don't have your own bikes, you can rent those up at the downtown area. Same with the golf carts. So, got the bikes all set. And we're gonna get our day started. They've got some kind of construction project going on here at the Glacier Grooves. Part of the trail's open. We'll just see how much we can get done. The estimate was about 25,000 years ago when the Wisconsin Glacier passed, came down through this area to form these grooves. The length of these group glacier grooves is about 396 feet. And some of the grooves were lost during the quarry project that uh, used to go on here at Kelly's Island. Off to the end and sides of the glacier grooves is Kelly Island Quarry. They used to quarry a lot of limestone out of here. Uh, they would cut it into chunks and take it over to the mainland. Eventually the business was lost to quarrying in Michigan, which could supply it at a cheaper rate. We'll get down into that quarry later on on this trip. Near to where the glacier grooves are, there are these large concrete structures. Can't find any signage on them sort of assuming they were part of the quarry project. This was abandoned so long ago, there's multiple tr trees growing up through here. Mm -hmm. 
and also there's a 1.2 mile loop hiking trail called the North Shore Loop Trail. That's where we're going to head next. South Bass Island in the distance. So there's a marker here that signifies North Bay Quarry. And on this site once stood the Kelly's Island Lime and Transport Company, which began operation in 1886 and became the largest producer of lime in the world. So from the public access for the boats, there is a long jetty with a concrete sidewalk that uh, it's a nice walk out here and it is ADA accessible. Our next hike is going to be the East Quarry Trail. Well, that's a nice view that we have here from the northeast end of this quarry. So that's it for this walk. Gonna head back toward the bikes and make our way to West Bay Bar. Well, after a nice libation at West Bay, we came back to the campgrounds and I thought I'd bring you down to another site that is at the far end of the campground. They do have a beach here. Some changing rooms up there.
We have a nice campsite here at Kelly's Island State Park. All set up there at a picnic table and fire ring on that side. Didn't get a whole lot of chances to use that since it rained a bit and we had a lot of pooling around. But across the street, a really nice view of the lake. Well, it's our third day here at Kelly's Island State Park. And uh, just a couple more things that we're going to get to do before we head home. Here we are at North Pond State Nature Preserve. It's uh, part of natural area and preserve. Ohio Department of Natural Resources. Let's go check it out. Here we got a number of storyboards all about the waterfowl in the area. Neotropical migrants, warblers, thrushes, yellow throats come through. They're talking about the North Pond State Nature Preserve right here. Reptiles and amphibians. And there's a type of barrier beach. Must be between the pond and the lake itself. So they have a really nice boardwalk here leading through this marsh. There would not be any way possible to walk through here without this boardwalk. The boardwalk leads us up to a barrier beach between Lake Erie and North Pond. North Pond is the area where birds, amphibians, um, other animals can find shelter. And this is Lake Erie. So along the boardwalk at the storyboard area, if you go to the right, it takes you down to the barrier beach. And if you go to the left, it takes you to an observation tower that looks over the North Pond. So we made it to Kelly's Island Historical Association Museum and Gift Shop. Get a chance, get out and wander. See ya.